long since i met you guys regarding a, a, with a material on uh, uh, operating system so today it is going to be a very simple topic uh, this is one of the most frequently asked topics in the interview um, how a linux system is getting booted i mean what are all the steps that are involved in getting a linux machine booted is the question it is a, a simple question we will answer it step by step but you should remember the terms very importantly because it is what is being checked in the interview when you start your machine there are two things that are primarily happening one is bias another one is post what is bias bias is basic input output system post is power on self test just remember these two terms i'm going to use this here and there in my next few minutes session okay uh, we have a six stage process normally but i do not know if i'm going to uh, catch all the six stages in this session i'll make it understandable the sequence is very important if you miss the sequence you are gone so for example i need to go as 1 2 3 4 5 i cannot miss 3 to go to 4 i need to completely follow the procedure and it has to be 1 2 3 4 5 so please remember that the first step is bias bias is basic input output system and this is how it is getting started first the bias will initialize post what do you mean by post post is nothing but power on self test what does it do it will check if all the peripherals that are attached to the system to the board are all working fine and uh, they get the necessary uh, power for it to operate it will also check if it is a, a recovery from a cold boot or a warm boot or it is a reboot because everything is different then it restores the date time etc for example i shut down the machine yesterday and i wanted to boot it today so the date should the date should be automatically updated and cmos battery will take care of it all those things are fine but still uh, this bias will make sure that the date and all those things are getting updated quite consistently the cpu will now uh, check with the rom rom which is nothing but the read only memory uh, to see from which address it should start from for example uh, there are certain uh, codes that are written by the uh, company that is manufacturing that is producing the operating system or that is writing the operating system and that is a read only memory so you cannot change anything and that will take care of the complete process of the booting so the address from where it starts should be made available and in this process of bias cpu will identify it also uh, you guys must have seen that if you have a pen drive connected to your uh, windows system while booting it will now wait for uh, you to select from where it has to boot if you have specified the boot option like that likewise here also it will check from where it has to fetch the boot image it can be from hard drive it can be from usb it can be from anything so it has to make sure that from where it has to update now the second step is to call the mbr mbr is nothing but master boot record the complete control will be now handed over to master boot record and there it stops the first step is over now the second step is nothing but mbr which is nothing but the master boot record in the hard drive it will be the first sector okay i have taught you about the file systems and i have also uh, told you a word called as special files inside the dev it starts with the character c Uh, i hope you guys remember it if not please go back to the video and see what is a special file all about now slash dev is the one which has all the special files how special files housed inside it and there we will have mbr available and inside hda mbr will be available so what does mda uh, mbr give you it gives you the bootloader information it gives you the complete partition information and most importantly it has got the information about grub grub is nothing but grand unified bootloader it is a very important topic in interview they will ask you what is a grub if you can answer it that's great i will tell you about that little later maybe in the next slide lalo is another mechanism that is used in place of grub which i am not worried about because grub is the most probable and most frequently used one in linux mbr will now get the grub alive the first set is bias bias gets the mbr alive the mbr gets the grub alive grub is nothing but grand unified bootloader now the next step is very simple when i boot in in the unix window or in the ubuntu window you will have list of images available there and you will be asked to select one image out of it for you to log in this is a quite common process that everybody should have been familiar if you have operated linux at least once or ubuntu at least once now that is called grub grub will provide you the list of available boot images from which you need to select one of the images which you want to go ahead further if you are not selecting anything within a mentioned time it will select the a default image and that's a simple procedure so where does it sit the grub sits in boot boot is a file system that i taught you in the previous session boot grub grub.conf so that you can check you can open that file also to see if what is happening 
now the next step is to a uh, grub will load the kernel the appropriate image is selected now the kernel can take over the kernel is nothing but the operating system now the first step is bias second step is mbr third step is grub fourth step is kernel now when the kernel is launched immediately the root file system gets mounted and the next step init will be getting launched what is init sir init is the init file system that is getting uh, that is, uh, init is a process that is getting launched right in the beginning it is given a process id one i have shown you this during my demo on the file systems and i have shown you the numbers also i have taught you this also when i track the process ids this can be found easily by going into cd space slash proc the process id is one this this is the first process that is getting launched this is called the parent process for all the process and this is the demand process nobody needs to launch it it automatically gets launched so the first step is bias second step is mbr third step is grub fourth step is kernel and kernel launches sign it and from there it goes on like that rest of the file systems will all get launched so this is the basic step this five step sequence somebody calls it six step sequence i make it five this five step sequence is sufficient for you to understand and answer questions on booting process i hope you like the session thank you for supporting me thank you very much